Would you mind introducing yourself and the nice young lady beside you? Uh, I'm Betty Norman. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am Carolyn Charlson. I'm your granddaughter. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought that was my mother, but I'm beginning to think that it wasn't. It's me. So what is it like to see all these pictures of yourself? Makes me feel big and important. <laughs> but I know I'm not. <laughs> you are. Tell me about yourself. Uh, me or what I think I am. Let's start with what you think you are. Let's see. I think I'm a great princess from a different land. What land? The land of no man's land. And who lives there with you? Uh, my husband. I wouldn't live with anybody else. Tell me a little bit about your husband. Oh, he was funnier than me, that's for sure. But he was a very good musician. And he, but the only problem I had was he insisted on being a teacher. That was your dad, not your husband. No, that's right. Just to set you straight. <laughs> That's my job. I'm not her caretaker. I just am the set her straight. He keeps, she keeps me straight. Yeah. <laughs> is it appropriate to say that your memory has started to fail you? It is appropriate. You, you might as well admit it to yourself. It's very important, really. It definitely makes me stop and smell the roses. <laughs> Cause See? See, I am good for something. <laughs> <laughs> there are people that think that they are forgotten, and they are. Have you ever forgotten. thought that you were forgotten? Sure. I'm no different than anybody else. There are times when I think to myself that my friends have forgotten me, and I probably have forgotten a lot of my friends. Eddie, what does family mean to you? Everything. If I couldn't find my family, I think I'd be lost. I know I would. Yeah. That's why I'm here. You, you said it. <laughs>